Hey guys, how's it going? Everybody, my name is the Blitzwinger, and ladies and gents, welcome back to a brand new Ben 10 Customs video here on the Blitzwinger YouTube channel. And of course, we will be once again using the customizer in LEGO DC Super Villains. So we will be creating yet another version of a LEGO Ben 10 uh, Alien. So that is what we're going to get to work here in just one second. But first and foremost, of course, let's take a quick look at what we created last time, which was Swampire. So that was pretty awesome. You can check out the video showcasing how to build that character in depth of course on the channel we've already already started to uh create like a brand new batch of 11 new aliens so uh so far we have gray matter and swamp fire completed so today we're gonna build a third alien out of those new 11 this new next batch of characters so which one is it gonna be well if you've read the title you already know and that is stink fly now uh the suggestion for stink fly came from uh, how do you say that? Letarion? Letrion Johnson? I don't even know if I'm saying that right. It's it's like the way that you would write later, then R-I-O-N, and then Johnson, who says, Where is Stinkfly? Well, that is exactly what we are going to be working on today. Now, the one thing that was really confusing to me personally when I went to Google an image of Stinkfly is that two designs came up. And I'm not going to lie to you guys. They are completely different. <laughs> like, they're not even remotely similar to one another. The classic Ben 10 uh, Stinkfly is green and uh, has what seems like four legs, two arms, a big giant tail, uh, giant wings, uh, what looks like four different eyes. Like, it's a very, very, very weird looking design for sure. And then after that, I was like, okay, well, let's see what the other one looks like. And the other one, the reboot one, actually looks a lot more, um, I don't want to say normal, a, a lot more doable in this particular game. Because, unfortunately, the classic design is something that we would not be able to even do somewhat well. Because there's no way for me to design a character that has, you know, quadrupedal legs or, like, four legs uh, available along with the tail. I mean, I guess we could do the the arm, sorry, the legs, and then the tail. That's doable. So is the wings. I think we could even figure out something for the multitude of different eyes. But the legs is just something that was not going to be doable at all. So instead, we're going to put together the Ben 10 stink fly uh, from, I, I guess it's called like the reboot of Ben 10, I think. Uh, I think that's what it's called. So that's going to be the goal that we're putting in or the character design that we're going to be putting here together. Uh, so it's kind of like a blue uh, two-legged uh, character design. So that's what we're going to work on. So with that in mind, let's get rocking and let's get a rolling. Of course, don't forget, guys, if you do enjoy today's episode, hit that like button. As soon as this video right here hits 500 likes, the next video will go live. As far as like how we decide what is the next video going to be, well, that's up to you lovely folks so down in the comment section below simply type in other aliens that we have not yet built so obviously i hope you've taken a look at some of the other videos that i've done on the channel there's a playlist for the ben 10 series and you can see there some of the other designs that we've done so then look at those and be like okay well what has he not done yet and then come up with an alien that you would like to see now if you don't want to actually type in a specific um alien maybe just scroll through the comments and thumbs up one of the comments that you agree with like to say okay well i actually think it would be really cool if you built that character because i agree with that to, uh, as like a cool design or cool take and so on and so forth so that would really 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 help me out a ton if you could do that because obviously then we would um try to do our very best to put together uh, that character. Now, the one thing that I was extremely confused by when looking even at this particular character is that I was looking through the designs uh, for this character and I realized like he has quite a few different like color variations at, on a multitude of different occasions. I, I looked at him like, okay, it's in some pictures like of the action figure of this Stinkfly, he has like yellow wings. One, he has green wings. It looks like in the show, he mostly has like orange wing design. Um, the mask is the other thing that's a little bit different sometimes is that it looks like in some images, the mask is more fly-like and then in other ones, it looks more like just like a helmet. So basically what I'm getting at is that I'm going to try to do my very best to get as accurate as possible, uh, but we might be a little bit off just due to the fact that there's so many different variations of this character just by googling an image uh search for the stink fly character so with that being said let's get to work shall we so i guess the first things or a few of the first things we're gonna do um let's double check the hearts how are they are they set no we gotta ch change that to green 
Um, then we're gonna change the actually speed probably doesn't really matter here. Uh, we'll make we'll give him the cool pose maybe. Cool or strong? Where's the strong one? No. Let's go with the cool. He looks more like a cool type character. All right. So. Uh, now that we have that figured out, let's get to working on the actual design. So the number one step is going to be to give him some wings. So let's figure out what wings we're going to use. These mo look more like traditional wings. We want something a little bit more bug-like. Mm, the man bat look does not work that well. That's an interesting look, but again, not very accurate. Can you do two colors on this? Ooh, you can. So these might be the ones we use, honestly. Wait, what's recoloring on this? Nothing is recoloring. I'm legit not seeing anything change color. Do you guys see anything change color? Okay, I'm... Let me see again. Nothing is changing colors. Am I crazy or... I don't see anything change colors. Right? What the heck? Okay, well that stinks. Because that might have worked very well for us. That might have been a cool look. That we could have gone with. Not anymore. We could go with maybe kind of like the butterfly wing design. If we could go with like a bright orange. Hmm. Okay. That's a possibility. This is the one that I thought of right away. But again, I think this one's not that accurate for this design. Because again, it needs to be orange. Now this, on the other hand, could work. Ideally, we'd want the wings to be bigger though. Man. Okay. That stinks. I really wish we could recolor this. Because, again, that would be fantastic. If we could make the outer edge blue and then the inside orange. That would look really cool, you know? For this design. That's why I'm confused why it's not letting me... Maybe if we remove it and then... Is it changing colors now? Nothing's happening, right? Like, look, I'm going through all the colors and nothing's happening. Wow. Okay. That's a nice glitch to run into. I guess in theory... Okay, well, that does not do anything either. Okay, great. So both of those are just glitched. That's just wonderful. Okay, well, I guess we're, gonna, we're kind of, to an extent at least, stuck with these wings. Although, I'm not going to lie to you guys, I actually think that the butterfly wings look better. I think these look all right as well, kind of. But I feel like the cool thing about the butterfly wings is that we get both colors on the wings, just like it is in the actual design. So we can do, like, the dark blue uh, and the orange. So I sort of like that combo wombo. So I think we'll stick with that for now, at least, because I don't think we can do much better, unfortunately, at this point in time. All right. So for the color, we need to figure out the right shade of blue. And unfortunately, this one's a little bit too dark. This one's good for the wings um, and the feet, for example, uh, design and the antenna that he has. But I think this blue is kind of good for the other aspects or most of the other aspects of the character because he's kind of done up in several different shades um, the design itself, so that's what we're trying to do as well. So, let's see. Let's work on the arms. The arms should be two different shades of blue, ideally. So, let's see if we could find something like that. Mm, that sort of kind of fits the bill, actually. Because it gives us the lighter blue up top, which is what we want. So, that's actually pretty nice. We got really lucky there. Let's keep scrolling. Maybe we could find something even more accurate. Because ideally, I want something that has kind of the interior uh, color also blue. The problem is that none of the designs in this game are ever split down the middle uh, in color, like, vertically. They're all done up sort of horizontally. And what I mean by that is, like, there's always two different tones like this. But you can't have the tones be, like, the inside and the outside being two different colors. So that stinks, unfortunately. But it is what it is. So we have to kind of, you know do our very best within these limitations. Yeah, that won't work. Um, this, no, nah, that's a, a much darker blue. I mean, I guess in theory, we could also go with something where it's all one color and then after add sh maybe shoulder pads if it lets us, but I don't think we're gonna be able to add shoulder pads and wings. I think those two usually don't work. And furthermore, I do think that this is probably the best looking one we have had so far. Um, I mean, let's try it just in case. 
so that you guys oh wait we wouldn't be able to because shoulder pads and wings are all in the same category so even if we tried we wouldn't be able to do it got it okay so um so we have that figured out now let's work on the leg pieces so for the leg piece ideally we want again really light blue and that blue that we have right now so let's look through different designs that could maybe fit that look so this one is not terrible. If the legs on this were black, we would 100% use this because I think that would actually look really accurate because the feet on the uh, Stinkfly design look like they're dark, dark blue, basically black almost. So if we can, if we could have used that, it would have worked pretty nicely. I mean, it's not a terrible look like this, but I just wish we could have recolored the boots on that. That would look really, really clean. Uh, what recolors on this? I don't even know. Okay, so that's kind of a decent alternative as well, because we get a little bit of the multi-recolor going as well. And we get that, like, light blue that we want, so that's pretty decent. What about this? Ooh, that looks really cool, actually. I like that. I mean, it's not as accurate to the design, but he does have kind of, like, a striped look um, from the pictures that I see here. So we're, we're trying to do our very best to either... If we can't get something to look very accurate, we try to get as close to it, like, inspired by um, that look. So that's kind of the approach that we take is, you know, trying to get as close as possible. And if we can't, then we do something that's more, like, inspired by it. Yeah. Okay. So, of course, the other alternative we have here is we could go with something like this, for example, uh, all together, which is not the worst option. But you know what? Honestly, I think that even though it does introduce... What about this, actually? No, I've got the musical letter there. It doesn't look that great. Even though that other look that we used, which now I can't even find. I don't remember what it was. Oh, it was this one right here. Mad Hatter. Who would have thought, huh? Um, I actually do think it looks kind of cool because it gives us most of the colors that we need. It does have the white there on the boots, but I think it still looks the best out of the bunch that we've seen. Uh, so far. So we'll adjust that. Uh, hip color is going to be easy. He doesn't wear like a belt or anything. So we just match that to the uh, leg colors. And now comes the more difficult aspects. And that's going to be the torso and the face. Those are going to be really, really tough to figure out with this guy. So step one, torso. Oh, man. He's got such a like weird design. Uh, like very specific design. Because it's kind of like a chest plate with the Ben 10 logo. And then kind of like belly plate also. Kind of like armor. So those are the two elements that need to be light blue. And then we need a dark blue all around it. So, yeah, that's going to sound... That sounds reasonably as difficult as it's probably going to be. Oh, my goodness. Okay, let's start looking around. Let's see what we can come up with. What about the blue beetle design? No, that does not look good at all. Ooh, what about this? Okay. You see, if we could make that um, chest plate area be this kind of blue, th this would actually work really well. But the problem is it's not going to let us do that. So we have to move along. Um, okay. So light blue in the center, dark blue on the outside. That's what we're trying to replicate. What about this? Okay, well, that's just way too busy. Just way too much going on there. Again, this would work well if we could recolor the centerpiece, but we can't, unfortunately. Ooh, what about this? So this actually does look kind of cool. I know it's a very futuristic-y looking look, and it's a little different, especially with the giant gold belt and everything. But I don't dislike it completely. I think that's, that's a contender. I would say that's a contender. Nope, that's definitely not going to work. What about this? Huh. Interesting, but it's silver. We could, I guess, in theory, just use that. So that kind of works. It gives us part <laughs> of the design completed. But this also has me thinking, I have another idea right now. So after we scroll through all of these, we're going to try out one more thing before we decide. Uh, nope, that won't work. Although that does look kind of cool. That would be cool for like a Hulk design. I feel like we could do a really cool Hulk or Abomination design with that. Um, okay, let's keep scrolling. Yeah, those, that's not going to look accurate. Because, again, it's, it gives, gives us more gold than any light blue in the center. 
Let's keep scrolling. Ooh, what about this? The atom. Does it repaint? Oh, I was hoping it would get rid of the red. And if it did, that would be great because that would possibly work well here. Fortunately, it is not going to work for us. What is that trench creature? That thing just looks terrifying. Okay, so the other idea I had when we looked at the Nightwing torso is that I guess in theory, what we could do is we could go with something. Let's see. Mm, I'm just trying to figure out what would be the best look. So let's say it's something like this. All right, so you get the dark blue there. You get the light blue there. Wait, we're not done yet. And then we get the larger white blue across the chest. Sort of like that. Like, I guess that's an option. But I feel like that looks pretty terrible. So, no thank you. Oh, man. Okay. I'm Okay, so I'll tell you guys where my thinking is at right now. So, the ones that I like the best, the ones that I think look the best uh, right now at this point in time, I would say... Ooh, I wonder what this one looks like, actually. It looks cool, but again, not very accurate. So, I feel like this one is decently accurate. It's not excellent, but it's all right. Um... So that one would be probably my least favorite. I really think that this one looks cool. I think this one looks pretty neat. But again, the problem with this one is the gold. So let's say we don't use that one. Then another option is, of course, the Lex Luthor torso. But that one is very, very, very busy looking. And I guess... Just trying to think of... What else did we use at the top? Because I feel like the Lex Luthor torso is an option here. Ooh, what recolors on this, actually? Darn it. It's not what we thought. I uh, can't use that. I can't use that. That's not... Ooh, what about this, actually? Nah. Gives us a big giant tool belt. Which he does not use! Um. Okay, so... Oh, man... I feel like no matter what I choose, there's going to be somebody upset with this design, which is fine because it's like, look, I'm trying to do my best within the limits of the game. And as you can see, there are a lot of limits placed upon us. So it's not the easiest of things to figure out. Um, so I I'm not surprised that some people will probably be upset here. I think that this might be the look we have to go with. Or, of course, this. Which I think, you know what? I'm going with it. I like the way it looks. I know the gold belt is really, really in the way, but I really think that it looks the best um, out of the entire bunch that we've designed or seen so far. Okay, so let's get to work on the other difficult aspect of this whole ordeal, and that's going to be the head. So we need antenna. Do we have any antenna type characters even? Because I can't remember, honestly, if there were any. Oh, no, I'm getting nervous because it looks like there weren't any. Oh, man. Okay, well, here's our next problem. How do we solve this issue? Maybe using this. So we do kind of the dark blue there. And then that. So that's sort of his antenna there sticking out on the sides. Right. And then it would be... Let's see. I'm just trying... I'm, I'm like spitballing an idea here so this is not the finished design please don't freak out yet so it would be that sort of blue right for the face or actually even you know what would be better do they have um what recolors on this oh no that won't work uh I'm just trying to see what would look best we want we need blue for the eyes and they don't have anything like that here so let's go into presets maybe we could find something here it's a little bit more fitting so we need blue for the eyes almost like that sort of for the eye area ideal a little bit larger coverage than that um i wonder if that would work Hmm. That actually does not look terrible, honestly. So, it, it gives us a lot more obvious look for the eyes, but it's not an awful 
Um, example. But let's keep scrolling. Maybe we find something better. You got Dr. Fate there. Uh, okay, blue, blue for the eyes. Come on. Are you serious? Is there, like, basically no blue eyes in here? Yeah, those are too small. We need almost, like, goggles, kind of. Oh, what about this? It's a good kind of look. Okay, that's not terrible. That actually kind of sort of works. But again, it, the eyes are still, like, the actual pupils are not what we're looking for. We're trying to get it to be a little bit more accurate. But man, oh man, it's proving to be a lot more difficult than I ever even thought. Yep, that won't work. Oh man, who would have thought that this would be this difficult? The eyes, really, the most difficult aspects of this design. Wow, I did not realize that there's basically no characters that have, like, blue goggles. Dang it. That stinks for us. Definitely no pun intended here, since we're building Stinkfly. Get it? But this does not really work very well for us, honestly. Like, even with that, that's not the right recolor. Uh, p -p 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 -um. I gotta think, I gotta think. Maybe, could we possibly maybe come up with something? Ooh, can you recolor the eyes on this? Oh, no. That's a bummer. So that would not work. Um, Still need, like, just a regular, like, smirk type expression. Um, Like that, for example. Okay, Um, so let's see. I guess I could use those. If we want, which is sort of all right looking. Oh, wait a minute. I just got another idea. Would it let me place something around the head as well to do like that right effect that this character has? Because he has like a mask and then the front of the face is light blue. So I'm trying to figure out a way to... Hmm design that I guess that would be somewhat close to that we do have the blue eyes uh, this way kind of man it really stinks that none of the goggles like the big goggles are recolorable in, in color I guess why am I repeating myself mm, yeah that does not look all that great although Actually, because he does have those, like, fly lines across the eyes. So, oddly enough, that might work. But that's perfect! Yo, that's legitimately perfect. That is why we're patient. That is why sometimes these videos take 20 minutes. Because I'm trying my very best to do our very best, if that makes any sense. We really are trying to get the look as close as we possibly can. And it's just... Honestly, it's easier said than done because when you start going through this, you realize just how challenging this is because there's just so many specifics here. All right, let's check also the hair. I should actually check because maybe there's something with the hair where there's an um, antenna. Um, nope, 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 nope. Okay, so that would be a big no. So... I'm guessing our best looks are probably the flash helmets here. So we could go with this one. That's kind of like the much closer look. Or we could go with this one where the antenna will be like far off the head. Which I actually don't dislike. I think it actually looks kind of neat. That's what we're going to go with, guys. We're going to go with it. I think. I think we're done. I can't believe we're saying this. Uh, I do want to give him like a splash effect. Um, I'm assuming because the name of the character is Stinkfly, I'm assuming he's supposed to, like, create some sort of, like, poisonous attacks. I could be 100% wrong about this, so I'm sure you guys will let me know, as you always do, which, thank you so very much for that. Uh, we do need to give him flight. That's actually really important, because clearly he can fly. He's got wings, after all. Um, no grow ability, so that's good. We don't have that activated. We'll give him, like, a stink bolt attack, because I think that would be, um, applicable to this character. So, something like that. Uh, and then, there we go. A green effect. And then, I don't know if he needs to have any other abilities, uh, outside of that. So you guys will let me know if we need to adjust something else for him. 
Okay, so stink fly has been completed. This, I'm gonna say at this point, I think this and forearms have been the most difficult designs that you guys have asked for so far. Without a doubt, they, this this was not easy by any means necessary. This was a very, very, very tough design to put together and tried to get it to look even somewhat correct. It was really, really, really tough. But what I will say is that I am still very, very, very happy and proud of what we managed to come up with. I think we did a pretty excellent job, all things considered, all the limitations that are placed upon us uh, in the game. I have to say, I think we did a pretty good job. So with that in mind, ladies and gents, that is another Alien completed. Of course, if you guys want to see another Ben 10 Customs video, hit that like button. That is always a very, 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 very highly appreciated. There's our design for the one and only stink fly super duper happy with what we managed to come up with here today also of course don't forget though guys if you have any specific suggestions for what designs we should do uh next time you can always leave that down in the comment section below i would definitely love to see that as well as far as like your specific ideas or things that you want to see uh as an alien in lego dc super villains so we have still i think a handful to go because from the comment section, there was a bunch of names. I saw uh, one that was repeating was Blocks, I think, or like Alien Blocks or something like that, which sounds very appropriate for LEGO for us to be able to build that alien. So maybe that's our next one. Regardless, let me know down in the comment section below who you or whom you would like to see next time. Have an absolutely fantastic day, and I'll see you all later, alligators. Bye-bye, everyone.